Hello guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in. I'm so excited to be a part of the Crafty Creators community. Huge event this week. We are doing um, a cruise theme all week long. So I am a part of Tammy's team today and our theme is ribbons and bows but it's going to go along with the cruise theme as well. So come on in here and say hey. I don't know if you guys can see my background. You probably can. It's probably a huge mess. Let's see if you can see. You probably can. Don't worry about it. We're going to focus right here <laughs> and get all this done today. I'm super excited to be here. Um, let me get this pulled up real fast. I was still watching Brian right to the last minute. He is so super talented. So welcome to the Collaboration Create and Celebrate event, seven day cruise virtual, so none of us have to get our feet wet. Hello guys, hey Judy, hi Marcia, hey Cheryl. Glad y'all are coming in. Be sure and get this spread out for us. We sure want to get lots of friends in here and just have a great time, right? We want to get this spread wherever we can. I never know since I can't see the rules. I'm afraid to sprinkle, but you guys know if you have a group or, or maybe your own page that you can do that too, that would be fantastic. Thank you for doing it. Hello, Marie. Hi, Deborah Ann. Hey, Susan. Thank you, Judy. Awesome. Thank you, Maria. I appreciate Maria Liberty. Hi, um, everybody. Come on in. Okay, so I, I am ready for the cruise. I got my water. I'm not even wearing my shoes. I put them in my bag. Let's just chunk them on the ground. Here, I brought some supplies with me so we could create on the ship. There is no need to, you know, you don't have to be at home. You can create wherever you are. So we're creating right here on the cruise ship today. Hi, Gloria. Hey, Marcia. Thank you for spreading the blessings. Hi, Bethlyn. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, girl. Hi, Linda Sue. Hi, Patty Price again. <laughs> I've been watching everybody today. It's been a lot of fun. I am not going to be able to create with these glasses on, but I wanted to look apart, you guys. So we are on our virtual cruise all week long, so be sure and tune in every single day. You don't want to miss any of it, but I'm going to go ahead and start getting started. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. If you didn't catch me right at the beginning, you're going to want to go back and see all the get up and all the silliness. Come on in, you guys. I have to admit that I literally changed my project about 30 minutes ago, like maybe 40. Um, it was not feeling right. And I even told my group today at 2 o'clock, you know, I was in my private group and I was like, I don't know, I just, I can't, something wasn't right with it, and I could not figure it out, and then this came to me, and so I'm running with it, so I am a little nervous, because this is not what I had planned, so here's the thing, we're going to use this wood base, you can get these at Dollar Tree, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any craft store, Walmart, all the places, you want to give it a light sand. I use a, a light sandpaper. I like the one that's lighter than this, but this had some rough places on it, so I did use this one. And you want to give it a good sand because, you know, it's it's not going to be that great. Hey, Kim. Hi, Christy and Tamara. Um, that's right, girl. So anyway, I've already done that, and I've already sealed it with my wood sealer. So this is what I use, and I didn't turn my camera around. Y'all are going to have to read backwards. This is multi-purpose sealer from DecoArt, and I put that down uh, really well. I put two coats so that it seals the wood to accept the paint. That way, um, oh, I left my water cup. I left my water cup. That makes me so mad. I'm going to have to use this, and I'm going to have to use my water bottle. Oh. I, in fact, y'all... I left all my brushes in there. I took my brushes and washed them and cleaned them really well. And then I cleaned my water cup and left it all sitting on the kitchen counter. You know, Tammy told us a story about running after the cruise ship earlier. And I think it got me freaked out about being late. So 
I was running in here and sitting down, kind of finishing up watching Brian right before, you know, time. So I'm just going to get down kind of a light coat of this white, but then I'm going to come back and add some blue to it. So just bear with me while we get this on here. I do just need a really light coat because we're going to do some other stuff to this. And if we have time, we're going to resin. So let me know if you enjoy seeing people doing resin projects or you may be tired of it and just like me, just paint, don't resin. So let me know. Hello, Phyllis. Hi, Kim. Kim, this is large. It's like a, um, I'm going to have to measure it for you because I'm not sure. It is large. This is going to be a really cool painting, I hope. I hope. And I think it would be a fantastic gift. So you guys tell me if you have been on a cruise where you saw a couple who'd gotten married. So like a honeymoon couple, or maybe you got to go on a cruise for your honeymoon. Let me know in the comments. I've never been on a cruise. I've always said I don't want to go on a cruise. I like my feet on the ground. I mean, I'll fly, but I don't want to be on water and trapped. So it just does not appeal to me. Uh, you like resin, Marsha? Thank you, Tony. I tried to find something sunny and bright. The clothes that I had bought for Dina's event are kind of the Hawaiian look. So they, they weren't quite what I wanted today. So I just ended up with a t-shirt. Just getting a base coat. So I know this is the boring part, but I do like when we have an hour, I like to show you guys from start to finish and we can just chat the whole time, right? Uh, of course, you'll be able to do, if you choose to do this or make it for a gift, customize your colors however you want to. There's no wrong way to do this. Well, no wrong way to, no, no wrong colors. You can use any. You've never been on one either. See, I just, it doesn't appeal to me. I don't want to. And I know everybody that, lo that goes loves it and they always try to talk me into it. But it just doesn't appeal to me at all. I don't want to be stuck. I've heard about people getting sick on the boat and everybody getting sick, you know, going through the whole boat. So it just has an appeal to me. You love cruising, Carol? I know. I know. I have so many friends that say that. They're like, you would love it if you would just try it. But that's the problem. I probably won't. But I love looking at y'all's pictures and it does look fun. I was looking to see if anybody said, oh, he did, Erlene. I was looking to see if anybody said they got married on a cruise or, or went on their honeymoon. That's what I'm looking for. So you may have to comment again if I didn't see it. Your husband won a cruise. Okay. I think if we were given a cruise, I think I'd go. You know, that's different. But I don't want to spend hard-earned money on something that I don't know or I don't feel like I would want to do. So I don't know, just me, you guys, just me. I know, Sue, everybody says, I know. My son's been on a couple, he loves them too. I mean, it's just a mental thing for me. Okay, I sure wish I had done this part first. I really should have. I just thought it'd be so quick and it's not bad. But now we're going to do a little more to this background. I'm just feeling like I'm missing out on the comments and I'm really wanting to read. You just got home, Tina. Well, glad you're here. Yes, Beth one. And I know, I know everybody says there's nobody. I can't really think of anyone who said you know, we did not like our cruise. It was awful or anything like that. It's not like I've heard horror stories other than just things you see on the news. So I can't explain what my aversion is, really. I am loading my brush up with a lot of white and barely getting it into some blue. And then we're going to put some blue on this background. 
and see I was very careful not to get too much but I'm gonna have to get braver and do a little more how's everybody doing tonight is everybody kind of doing the dinner thing I hope you've got me turned on while you're cooking By putting that coat of white that I just put on, it's making this coat just go on like butter. It just gives it a really slick surface. It's still kind of wet. Jeannie, you love cruising. Good for you. See, y'all probably taught me into it someday, but uh, I don't know. So far, no. So far, no. My son went on an Alaskan cruise not all that long ago, and man, the pictures were just amazing. I would, I would do an Alaskan cruise because that's just things you can't see. I love going to, like we've been to Cozumel once and I loved it, um, but I want to fly there. I don't, and I want a Jeep. I want it, we rented a Jeep and explored and stuff, and I don't know, I just, you know. Darn crazy VIP cruise. Listen, that that'd probably do it. I would do that. Yes, that sounds fun. I guess if the situation is right. I know uh, Terry or uh, Tammy was talking about Terry and Karen doing a cruise, a crafting cruise. So there is an opportunity, I believe. Um, if I can't. No, I don't think y'all help me. Is is Beth's crew is Beth's trip a cruise or is it just by a, for some reason I was thinking cruise with her, but maybe it's just a little convention center. I'm not sure. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hi Brenda. Hi Tamara. Um sorry if I have missed saying hi to you. It breaks my heart, but I will go back and read comments and answer because that's the fun part for, the, for this is to see who all was here. You guys let me know if you sprinkled because I can't always tell if that little man is there. Then that makes it easy. But I know some people sprinkle to, I don't know, groups or something to where you can't see that little man. That happens when I sprinkle. So I know people don't even know that I did it, but... We sure appreciate it. It's going to be a great week. So if you missed yesterday or any of today, the replays are available in the Crafty Creators community. And thank you. I know, Gloria, I'm like you. But wouldn't you do it for a VIP trip? So my group is called Art and Grace VIPs. And so that's what we're talking about when I say VIP. VIP is very inspiring people. Because everybody's important. Everybody, whether they're in a group or not, everybody's important. But I call them, you know, VIPs because they inspire me big time. So hopefully y'all can see this background. I know it's a little subtle, but it's for a purpose. And I think I am going to darken up the corners just a little bit. Let's see how that looks. So when you're doing a background like this, you can do it on canvas or whatever. I love doing the X, kind of just an X with your brush, just kind of making little X marks with your brush. And it gives you a really textured, kind of artistic looking background. Um, you can go side to side and get a really smooth look if you want to, but that just isn't what I wanted for this. I wanted a little bit of interest back here, not too much a little so hang on guys you got to trust the process so I know you're probably like would you hurry up are y'all okay setting has to be on public okay that's that's the problem with me because I shared in my groups a lot and um, which they're considered you know you have to get permission to come in so that we can be sure we don't get a lot of scamming kind of people in there. We all get enough of that, don't we? I try to stay on top of those comments after lives and things because they'll come in trying to friend you guys. And Okay, that's a little better. I like all that blue in there. 
Now, hi Cynthia, I'm glad you're here. It's okay, all we're doing is getting this background on so you haven't missed much. Let me know if you've had, you know, if you've already seen something and you feel inspired. Let us know. Be sure and thank Tammy when you see her. I haven't seen her in here, I don't think, but if she's here, Tammy, thank you for putting on these events and all the hard work that goes into it. All the coordinating and the, the graphics and just all the things. We appreciate it. And it's fun because it sort of helps us as creators slow down and take time to watch each other because... I don't know about everybody else, but for me, it's like I'm just always working and, and painting and, and doing things, and I, I get so distracted if I watch lives that I don't watch very many, and um, usually if I'm watching, it's, it's when I'm doing paperwork kind of stuff, and I have it on just in the background, but you know, when we're in an event, it really makes me sit and watch everybody. And that's good. I enjoy it, and I want to see what everybody's doing. And So see how easy it is to come back and kind of clean up and get your edges nice and clean. Just like this. I'm not even worrying about these edges right this second just because of time. So I, like I said, I should have done that first and just thought it wouldn't take that long. Thank you, Donna, for sprinkling. Oh, you are there. I figured you were, but I also know you've got a lot to do and a lot of questions coming at you and and things in the messenger. So thank you, thank you. It's such a fun thing. And just because I've not been on a cruise, I am, you know, I've pictured it. I know. I've seen pictures. <laughs> hey, Brian, your wreath is stunning as always. I have never watched you one time where I wasn't just in awe of what you can do, especially under pressure and trying to comment. I mean, yeah. It's pretty amazing. So if you've missed seeing Brian Lane's Brian Lane designs, you need to be sure and just go back a few comments, click on his name, follow, and go see his work. He is amazing. Lots of great creators, you know, that you'll find. I know, Tammy, I remember. I do remember. It is fun to brainstorm with Tammy because when something clicked, like we were chit-chatting and kind of, we could do this, we could do that, we could, you know, and then when it clicked, I mean, it was like a different Tammy. She was like, okay, and the next thing you know, it's off to the races. Tammy is a true creator. Thank you, Gloria. Oh, good, Linda Sue. Well, I'm glad. I like that look. We're going to paint on top of it still. And if we have time, we're going to glass and resin it. I want this good and dry. And I did use some of my premium white paint on here. So it is, you know, a little thicker paint. I think we're good. So it's always nice if you have a tracer. I give the ladies in my group, my private group, a tracer for anything that I do. And they can just trace it on there. You guys don't need to have that facing you. So let's take our time and get this right. I don't know if y'all can see what we have going here yet, but I think it's going to be pretty. And if you don't have, you know, this carbon paper, just use pencil on the back of your, oh yeah, oh dear, that is, I forget how, on a white background. If you don't have carbon paper, just pencil on the back of your tray, your design. 
that's the old-fashioned way we always did it and it works just fine So, if you can't tell, we are doing a bride. She is on her, she just got married, and she's going on her Alaskan cruise, or Bahamas. Y'all can decide where do you think she's going. Let's just give her a, a good trip. And so that, I've never painted a bride and here's what inspired this was my nephew and his new wife are on a cruise and I don't you know I don't know if this is like the honey I mean because they've been married for about a month maybe no more than that uh, but anyway when I saw those pictures today I was like that would be so cute so that's kind of what inspired this at the last minute okay y'all I knew that was gonna happen so we have a little transfer because my paint wasn't really really good dry so you can use a paper towel a napkin and see what you can do and if it's just not good like that we're gonna just put some paint right over it Oh, that bums me out because I just don't have this kind of time. Bahamas, Hawaii. Oh, there's a Hawaii cruise? How come I didn't know that? Tell me more. <laughs> you guys. Oh, Maui, please keep them in your prayers. I know it's been a few days and sometimes as the news coverage starts to go to other big events, you know, it's easy to kind of let those things fall to the wayside a little bit please don't they're still in great need of our prayers and assistance so as you see I am just fixing my little mistakes where the carbon got on our design again learned a lesson about this too we should have done this background first and I'm kicking myself right now so have grace with me, friends. It is that important I put it into my business name. It is just vital that we have grace with each other. And the, I think the closer we get to the end time, the less grace there is, don't y'all think? So... We're just covering it up. Just thank y'all for some hearts. I saw. So tell me about your weddings, guys. I know this is a, a we're talking about cruises and things today, but also since we're doing this this bride, y'all tell me about your wedding and honeymoon. Like, where did you go? Was it amazing? Did you have a second honeymoon or get to go somewhere better later? You know, tell us all the things. Okay, that's good enough. I think that will work. Okay, now we're ready to paint. I'm gonna switch to a round brush. And he, like I said, I left my good ones in the other room. So we're gonna, use, this is a good brush. It's just that it's the big, it's too big. You got married in Hawaii, Patty? <gasps> that is amazing. Oh. Wow. How many people were there? Because when you have a big wedding somewhere like that, I mean, how do you get people, to, you, know, you know, kind of pricey trip. So did you have a lot of people? Was it just a small get together? So guys, I'm going to get a, a, our first coat on this skirt of hers. Whoops. Did not mean to pick that up. Niagara Falls. Your wedding was cheap. That's how we were, Amber. Yeah, it was back in the 80s and 86 and, wait, 89, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
isn't it usually the guy that can't remember the year? Um, but yes, cheap and nothing fancy. Okay, so all I've done here is we've got white and gray on our brush. And I want gray because it's a great background for white to kind of blend with it so that you don't just have a solid white. You know, it's going to show some shadows. And so just putting this on, which will cover up our blue. Angela, I bet it's sitting on my table. My husband brought them in right as I went live. So I, it's probably sitting on the table out there. And after this, I'll go look and be sure and post a picture and I'll let you know. It's been so fun getting those in the mail. So thank you to everybody who has sent one to me. And I'm sending them right back to you. When I get yours, I send one back. It's been a lot of fun. And just look on my page to see all of the cute designs. I've been posting them. Um, hello. <coughs> Sorry. Hello, Esther. Okay. That'll be our base coat for the dress. I have a couple of tricks I want to show you guys, so get that out of the way. You spent your anniversary in Hawaii. Oh, in Maui. Oh, oh, Linda. And Linda's lost her husband not too, too long ago, and so I know many of you are in that same boat. So we sure are sorry when that happens. It's so hard. Debbie, really? Oh, are you talking to her? I was like, wait a second, aren't we? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you you got to be talking to somebody else. So I'm going to do her skin right now. And I want this flesh tone with just a little bit of white to kind of mute it just a little bit. It's a little bit pink for me. I'm putting a lot of white right here just to kind of cover that line. And then we'll come back on top of it with some more flesh tone in just a second. Hi, Mary. How are you? As you're popping in, let us know. And if you come in as your name, be sure that you type out your business name or tag your business so that people know who you are. Or, you know, sometimes when I say that, I mean, sometimes people don't know your last name. So when you say... Or when you come in just as your name, you know, you kind of have to say who you are. Try to do that. I have not been painting upside down in so long that I am so rusty at it, y'all. I used to could paint just as good upside down as the other way, right way, and I'm losing my touch. I don't like that arm. I'm going to want to fix that arm, I can tell. Hi, Dana. How was your work day, friend? How was it? Okay, let me get some brown going for her hair. I 
I like to give them a little, some highlights. You got married in 81, had a small church wedding. Honeymoon was a trip to Liberal, Liberal, Kansas. Oh, you went to Long John Silver's. Isn't that hilarious when you look at weddings today? That is so funny to me. Like, unbelievable. Uh, today's weddings are, it's, it's actually kind of shocking, right? Like, some of them are just so fancy. I mean, we sure never, ever dreamed of anything like that in my day. And, I don't, you know, things are just so different. I t tell my daughter, I try to tell her all the time, and she just, she can, you can't tell some people, you just can't tell some people. But, like, I'm like, you don't have to have name brand everything. You don't have to have the best of everything. And, you know, we did without everything. We did without so much. We still do. So, back then having your dinner at Long John Silver's was fine. But today, that is just unacceptable. <laughs> Things are really different. I'm using bittersweet chocolate right now for her hair. Just kind of letting it come down a little bit here. And then we'll go over it with some highlights in just a minute. I'm gonna let this kind of dry. Always wipe my brush off in my paper towel to keep my paint water from being so messy. Now we're not done with our dress or anything. We're just um, doing this in layers, so hang with me. Okay, let's get out some green. Yes, of course we were poor. Oh, we were poor. I have no problem saying that. Yeah. Um, we still live very, very, uh, what's the word? Like, we don't, I mean, yeah. <laughs> nothing wrong with that, you guys. Nothing wrong with it. Okay, so on this bouquet, I'm going to start with some leaves. And then I'm going to fill in a bunch of flowers. But these are just little football shaped leaves. I'm coming into a different shade of green here and doing some with that. Our bouquet will just probably cover some and then the rest will show. Oh, she did, Cynthia, and took you dress shopping for a real wedding dress. That is precious. That is so sweet. And that's another thing, y'all. Tell, okay, if you got married like a long time ago, if you're my age or, you know, tell us if you remember what you paid for your dress. I remember that mine was $500, and my parents just thought that it might as well have been 10000 Like, to them, that was just outrageous but they did it they did it um now that i you know know more i'm like oh that's so sad you know at the time i didn't know you know our parents didn't talk about money we didn't know if they had money or not we assumed they all had money right and or at least i did and uh yeah so, if I could do it over, of course, I wouldn't put that pressure on them, but I didn't know better. I, it just wasn't discussed. I didn't know. So, there's one pink. I think I'm going to grab a fuchsia. Put a little bit. Yes, 100 from pennies. That's exactly right, Deborah Ann. That's what we started there. We actually looked at pennies. Um, you know, that's what we were hoping to do. But when I saw the dress that I got, oh my goodness, y'all, I just fell in love. And my mom fell in love with it for me. She, you know, wanted it as bad as I did. So I think, I think that's why I got it, because she really knew there was no other dress. That was the dress. And so, yeah. 
now, you know, now that I'm the age I am, I'm like, oh, girl, give me the cheap dress and I'll go on a trip, you know. <laughs> oh, Cherokee. Oh, my goodness. Do you have a picture? I would love to see that. If you do, I would just love to see it. I know everybody else would, too. Um, that sounds amazing. So just kind of filling in here with all of our other colors. I'm loving this. $200. Oh, Cindy, thank you. $150. That's what it should have been, y'all. That's, that's exactly what we thought we were going to do, too. Um, I just, I still kind of cringe when I think about it because uh, that was such a sacrifice for them and and what a little brat, you know, I didn't even know, had no idea that, that they really did not have money. Okay, that's all we're going to do. When that dries, I can go back and add little dots, which I will do in there. So now we're going to do her sash. And I do, I am going to do it in pink. This is where the ribbon and bow comes in, guys. This is the bow, obviously. Big bow on the back of her dress. I don't think I've ever seen a big pink bow on the back of a wedding dress, but this one has it. And then this is our ribbon right there. So I hope y'all like this. <laughs> hope that it kind of fits our theme of the cruise. The bride is on her honeymoon or going on her honeymoon next. This is really making me want to see everybody's wedding picture. Let me just tell y'all right now. So I have a group called Art and Craft Showcase. It's a free group. If you want to, go in there and post your picture. We would, I mean, we would love to see it. And I think it'd be fun if we all did that. So if you want to, do it. Ooh, that was a lot of fuchsia. We'll blend that in in a second. Oh, wow, Cherokee. I cannot wait to read all this. When I'm done here, I will go back and read. That is so interesting. I bet some of y'all have married off daughters or sons and have lots of stories about that too. If you have, where did they go on a honeymoon? Let us know because we've kind of talked about a lot of you guys. What about if you've, you know, married off a, a daughter or a son? I'm not sticking so much to my lines that I, my little tracer lines. You can do anything you want to. You don't have to stick with them. They help, you know, they help you to kind of keep everything proportionate, but then you can improvise. Three weeks, Susan? How exciting! Oh, How do you feel about it? I know that's got to be hard when it's the last one. I think you said your youngest. Son went to Cabo. That's awesome. Oh, Beth one said, please read messages. Are you talking to me, sister? No. Okay. Son went to Cancun. Ooh, that's nice for 10 days. Oh, see, I think a honeymoon, I just want, I would rather have a nice long honeymoon than a big fancy wedding. If you have to choose, you know, if, if budget makes you choose, then, but everybody's different, you know everybody's different okay so there's so far on our bow I want to kind of keep it moving because we we've got a lot to do 
like I said, I just should have done that background. What I want to show you guys, and and I'm just wishing that I had done this background, but I can't change it now. So I want to show you what I like to do or what I'm going to do with her sleeves. So let me just cover these lines real fast. They're bothering me. If y'all didn't see Tammy this morning when she kicked it off, I say morning, it was like noon. Uh, be sure and go back and watch because she dressed like a crew, like a um, ship captain, I guess. And it was so cute. Didn't even think to do that, Tammy. Um, anyway, okay, let's, let me show you what I do for her arms. So on this wedding dress, I'm making her have lace sleeves. And I tried a few different things, didn't love any of them. But what I liked is go ahead and paint them this color. And then, let me think, how, I, how did I do that? Did I have... Yeah, I did from here on. Okay, so let's say they start here and then you're going to go and just tap, tap, tap. You're tapping your white paint, moving your brush as you go. Can you all see this? Just tap, tap, tap and move your brush. Y'all let me know if, oh, somebody gave me stars. Thank you, LaVeda. That's so fun. I love looking up and seeing that. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for sprinkling stars, commenting, anything. That's so, so fun. I like to go back and read everything, especially today. This, these comments are going to be fun for me to read. Okay, so can you all see that? It gives you a really cool lace look and so easy. So there's your little trick. Kind of decide about, now this length, I'm going to have to kind of check and see if I'm, I'm upside down. It's hard to gauge if I'm about the same distance. But you guys, please have grace with me since I am upside down because it's just not quite the same. Everything's a little different. But I think, I think this way y'all can see better. So I do this sometimes. Then I'm grabbing some white on my brush. And I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. So three at a time. One, two, three. Little white flowers in here. Just, you know, wherever you think it needs it. You'll see, pretty good. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys very much. Your children have traveled the world, Debbie. That's awesome. I love it when my kids get to do things because, you know, I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Uh, that you know you want them to have good jobs and to get to do the things that you, maybe you haven't gotten to do or may not get worn it this just isn't my night for <laughs> i got pink in this oh vicky hey listen that's okay that is okay uh god has different plans for everybody and you don't want people to do things just because everybody else does it and if he is supposed to get married he will he'll find his person he may have to go to the grocery store or who knows what and run into some you know you know we don't know how God's gonna do what he does and some days or some some people just you know aren't meant to for whatever reason and who knows I am adding, a, don't freak out when I do this, you guys. I am adding a little gray back in to show some movement. And you can calm it down with white. But I 
How's that look here? But I like having, we've got a really pretty underpainting with the blue and then adding in a little gray shows the movement. I wanted to fix her hair a little. We got 15 minutes. Darn. I so wanted to do the resin. But I will do it on a fast video or something and post it. So here I'm taking just kind of a caramel color and giving her some highlights. And I'll go back over this with brown, so don't you worry because you're probably like, oh no, those are too streaky. But it, it won't look this way when I'm done. I'm just putting them in and then we put some brown on top and kind of calm them down. But you can go pretty quick this way and get those in there. And now I'm picking up my dark brown again and just kind of go back over gently over what you just did and calm it down. Y'all see? Oh, Rebecca, thank you. You're so sweet. I just feel like a hot mess today, but I appreciate y'all understanding that sometimes we change our minds at the end or or, you know, just have an off day where things just don't seem to go right. Um, but I think that's okay because it happens to y'all, right? It happens to everybody. So I don't try to hide it. I just tell you this is what's going on. It's just a, a weird day. Okay. I want to give her a pretty little bow in her hair. Now, like I said, I know most brides are not going to have pink, but we're going we're gonna to play along, right? And there is probably somebody out there who has a pink bow and pink flowers and all that, right? Does it, Victoria? Good. Good, good. I'm going to give her just a simple little... a little bow like that. I'm just tapping down to fill again like I did the white, just little pink dots where it might need a little something. And doing the same with my fuchsia. Because I want that nice and full. There we go. And then I'm going to, y'all can pick what color should we do our ribbon going down. Do we want to do the fuchsia, the pink, we could do the blue. Y'all let me know and we'll do that really quick. I do think this will be pretty with some glass and, oh thanks Amy, how are you designer roadkill? Patty says pink, thank you Maria. I do too Victoria, pink's my favorite. Now, are y'all saying pink, not fuchsia, right? Pink, pink. The pink. Ooh, Kim said fuchsia, so you guys, you guys clarify, pink or fuchsia? Shelly, I know you're saying fuchsia. <laughs> Trisha says pink. Somebody's just walking up to our door. You're going to hear blue. Okay, we're going to go pink. Um, Amy, aren't you after me? I did put it in my description for this video, but I've already, like now my brain's like, is it her? You guys, now I'm seeing fuchsia. Okay, keep on letting me know because I can easily change this if you're seeing it now and you're like, nah, I don't like the pink. We can easily do fuchsia. This is just a thin detail brush, probably a number zero or so. Yeah, five slash zero.
and if you're in the VIP group you know you'll get this tracer you can paint one for somebody getting married you could paint one of you you guys wouldn't it be cute to paint one in your dress paint one with your wedding dress oh my gosh I would love that mine had mine was beautiful it had big puffy sleeve like ruffly sleeves you know it was the 80s guys that was that was popular there we go that's what we have so far I'm gonna keep working on it oh good we still got 10 minutes y'all we almost could have done the resin needs to be a bit darker I kind of agree Brenda I was I was surprised we didn't have more fuchsias we'll just go ahead um y'all we just almost could have done we really if I had done that background we're gonna bring this fuchsia right to the side of our pink which maybe that's gonna be even perfect more perfect to have both like this Thank you. You should be better, Christy says. Christy knows. Christy's been painting a long time, and both of her parents were artists. And and I, I trust her judgment. I ask her a lot of questions, you know, just getting her ideas or something. Just, you know, just we chit-chat. And I just sent our founding members, people who started the group with me when I first began three years ago. They just, I sent them a little gift. It's my three-year anniversary for the, for the group and for my page. So we are celebrating all month. So if you have thought, you know, I'd love to learn to paint or I wish I had a community of friends my group I'm gonna just be very upfront we are more than just a group where you learn to paint um, if you need friends or wish you had you know a, a group you should give it a try because we have a sweet community of ladies who support each other encourage each other we share our art and all of that together and it'll be open next week so get on the wait list so that you get notified on my website I don't know if it's pinned at the bottom it usually is so sorry th that I'm sniffling how's the fuchsia with the pink do y'all like that is that better Hi, Carol. How are you tonight? I do too, Mary. They've, you guys have gotten me through a lot. Good. Thanks, Sydney. Okay, so at this point, we can literally just kind of start finalizing, adding a few details. Come around here with your fuchsia and kind of go around giving it some definition. Give it a little once over and see what you think it needs. If you guys are seeing something I've missed, please just comment, let me know. I'll turn it around here in a minute and do a double check. Mix it pop, good, perfect. Oh, I love all your pink hearts. Love that. Y'all, quick, tell me what color you wore at your wedding. Um, like, what colors were your colors? Mine, you know, like I said, it was 89. So, it was uh, mauve. Mine was mauve, and the guys wore, hold on, was it? Ron wore white. I know, isn't that weird now? Ugh, so weird. Um, 
but you know back then that wasn't abnormal and the guys wore gray well yes you but your flowers and any you know decor this is just taking that lighter pink and adding some of that in I will clean up her arms and everything and give her hair some more thin highlights gown was white Bill wore his uniform and you carry daisies I love daisies Aww. How long have y'all been married, Mary? You guys, anybody can answer that. I love to know things like that. You know, like, we just had our 37th, 37th wedding anniversary. So if you're young and you are like, oh, wow, that seems like forever. You know, it, it in some ways, it's a long time. But in other ways, I still feel young in my head. So it doesn't seem that long. You know what I mean? Is that how y'all feel? And I, I like to always say marriage is not easy. Of course, it's wonderful most of the time, you know, like, but it's not just always fun and games. Sometimes it's very heavy and dark and you've got serious issues to deal with or, or death and things that happen like that, but but you can do it. It's commitment. 22, oh, he passed at 55. That's young, Earlene. 37, Cynthia. 59, Jermaine. That's amazing. Congratulate. Look at you guys. Oh, 54, Mary. I knew it was a long time. That's awesome. Okay, guys, what are y'all thinking? <gasps> Do you like her so far? I'm going to just do some finishing touches and then I am going to do some glass and resin. So I will, um, I might do that as a, like a video or something so y'all can see. Um, and then of course I'll post pictures, but I hope y'all enjoyed this. And I do want to say thank you so much, Tammy, for letting me be a part of your event. For all the work that you put into it you guys be sure and thank tammy in the comments or when you see her uh you know she's working a lot to get these things done so thank her for that and it's going to go on the whole rest of the week so don't miss it You're, it's going to be lots of fun and each day has a theme you can stay in the crafter crafty creators community i've got it pinned at the top and you'll just click on that go to the group it's a free group and then you can stay you don't have to wonder who's next where do i go what page i can't find them you know you can just stay yes becklin can you post a link are you asking me to um if you'll put the link i'll pin it i do have it up in the description of the video and yes, I want you guys to go follow or go see Amy. She's next with Road Designer Roadkill. Thank you guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you for the stars and for sprinkling and all the things. I appreciate you guys so much. But she should be live. In, oh, we do have two minutes. I looked at that wrong. Hey, well, should I just keep going? <laughs> Let's add some glass. Let's add some glass. Darla, you're on the tail end, sister. We are just about done. Oh, I see, Beth Wynn. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for your help, too. By the way, Beth Wynn is Tammy's assistant. I don't know what moderator. So you'll see her a lot, and she's working just as much as Tammy, I'm sure. So thank you, Beth Wynn, for the help. Thank you, guys. I'm excited to add glass. I've got it all here. I have some pearls. I have some bling. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know what we'll all add, but we'll get it done. Thank you for sprinkling, Deb. Oh, I will, Christy. Thanks. Okay, cool. Ch 
Cherokee. Thank you. I'm excited to go see. I'm going to go um, answer my comments and all that first. So next up, there we go. Let me pin this and we'll all go chit chat over there. Pin comment. There we go. But if you have not followed me yet and you're new to me, please do. You know, if you find out in a week you can't stand me, then you unfollow. But it's always nice to have new friends and, and you guys can see what, what all we do. Oh, Darla, you're so sweet. Thanks for popping in. All right, guys, have a great night. Go see Amy and um, have fun. Let's make this just a fun, fun time. Encourage each other in the comments. Have fun, chit chat, all the things. That's what makes these events a lot of fun. Yes, I will, Christy. I sure will. Thanks, Rennie. Thanks, Erlene. Love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.